It's Strawberry Storytime. Come and read along with me. Hello little berries. Welcome back to Strawberry Storytime. I think maybe you should find something that you love to cuddle up with whilst we listen to this next story. Come on. Today's story is Our Fluffy Valentine, written by Cindy Jennings. It was Valentine's Day. Naomi, Kim, Drew and Simeon had decided to spend their Valentine's Day in a llama farm which belonged to Drew's uncle. They were very excited about it. They arrived at the farm in the morning. Drew's uncle and aunt welcomed them happily. All around the farm they could see vast grasslands. Some distance away, Llamas were grazing lazily. They're a lot fluffier than I thought, Kim said with a giggle. Aren't they cute? Wait till you see the baby llamas, Drew said. They are so cute and fluffy. Speaking of baby llamas, we have a new one, said Drew's aunt. His name is Pip and he's a little shy, Drew's uncle added. Let's go visit him. They visited the stables and Drew's uncle showed them a little llama standing in the corner all by himself. He looked very lonely and sad. Why is he here all by himself? Simeon wanted to know. He does not like to hang around with the others, said Drew's aunt. It's making us worry. The kids looked at the baby llama's sad face. I think we can make him happy said Naomi. Today is Valentine's Day. He should be enjoying it with his friends showered with love. We'll leave him to you then, said Drew's uncle. After they left, the kids admired the little llama. It had a soft white coat and beautiful, long-lashed eyes. Kim reached out and touched his coat. Then she stroked him a little bit. The little llama seemed to like the attention he was getting. He let the kids pet him and stroke his fur. Drew fed him some grass and he happily munched on it. Naomi walked over to the stable door and called for him. Come on, Pip, she said. Look how beautiful it is outside. Let's go out and have some fun with your friends. Pip followed the kids outside. The other little llamas were playing together. Pip seemed reluctant to go there. You can do it, Pip, said Simeon. Go on, have fun. The kids walked over to the baby llama and Pip also followed them. The other baby llamas came towards Pip and nudged him. Look at that, Drew said happily. They like him. There were wild daisies blooming nearby. The kids picked them and made a pretty daisy chain. Then they put it around Pip's neck. Happy Valentine's Day, Pip, said Naomi. You are loved by all of us. Pip gave a humming sound, as if to thank them. Then he hopped along with his new friends to play. Would you look at that, said Drew's uncle as he walked towards the kids. Pip is playing with his friends. He was just shy, said Drew. We helped him to make friends because no one should be lonely on Valentine's Day. Pip looks very happy, said Drew's aunt. Now, who wants to ride on a llama? Yay! The kids yelled happily. Let's go! They spent the rest of the day riding on llamas and playing together with the cute baby llamas. It was truly a memorable Valentine's Day. Did you like that story? It was lovely, wasn't it? Don't forget to give that something or someone a big squeeze. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe.